guys, it's Nerd here back with a brand new video today with my official review for Civil War. Avengers. Yeah, Captain America Civil War. Should be called Avengers though. Um. Alright, so if you guys. It's been about out for about a week. I think now, right? May 6th. But it's about the 16th. I don't know the day. Um, but yeah, so. Okay. I'm just gonna throw up a spoiler warning right here. Right here, spoiler warning for you guys who haven't seen the movie. Um, okay, so this is gonna have spoilers in it, so beware. I uh, so I'm gonna start off with the comic, how they went to the comic books to the movie. So the comic books, um, there's the Hero Registration Act, which makes which requires all heroes to be registered. As a superhero, even if you don't have powers, like Tony Stark signed up for it. I mean, he's the one who's behind it. That's and Captain America is like, no, no. And then, all right. So that's kind of what it is. Kind of what size they are. Captain America's really with it, and I, Iron Man's really with it. Captain America's really against it. So they really two teams against each other, um, fighting and all that, and then like pick sides and all. And then it's also, um, what the movie did, which with the against and for, is the Scovia, Scovia Accords, which is basically, it's called the Scovia, sorry if I'm not saying this right, I don't mean to offend anyone, um, it's basically because in Age of Ultron, if you saw it, they made a city a meteor, but the Avengers caused a lot, caused a lot of damage on it, so it's called the Scovia Accords because that's where, like, they decided they need they need to be in check. Now, same side, Captain on uh, Iron Man. Sorry, well, sorry. I feel like Captain America should be on the side of you know justice, like control. Um, is um all like Iron Man is for it. Captain America is against it because he knows it's all basically an act. He, to be honest, he thinks it's Hydra. Uh, yeah, it's kind of what the for and against. Now, I kind of like that idea. I wish it did have the Hero Restoration Act. It was a cool act. Uh, yeah, and then kind of going with the comic books again. They have Steve Rogers' death in the comic books. Of course, they read him back in because it's comic books. And like what uh, Captain America die in a mini series. I mean, there's only like seven comic books long, which is still selling just selling a lot right now. Um, yeah. So it's all so the. I, uh, I uh, basically trying to, uh, I uh, so get to America. It's all like I want to save Bucky. I need to save Bucky. But I don't see if you think about it, Bucky has been the main villain for the past like two movies. I want to say, yeah, two movies. Bucky's been the main villain. Um, this is kind of like you think about it. Why? I mean, Bucky's have. I mean, it's a cool character. I mean. I'm happy they have an MCU now, but I mean, they could have easily toned him down. And I was, now there's theories of him taking over Captain America um, in Infinite Crisis 2 because it's been announced that they are. are Avengers aren't going to be the same, which is actually wrong because Sam Wilson, if I'm correct, tracks me below more comic book nerds than me. I'm a huge comic book nerd, but um, I have a lot of DC comics. So, uh, let me know if I'm wrong, but Sam Wilson, or Falcon, it's Captain America before Bucky. So, I hope they go with that. Now, I'm excited for Infinite Crisis Part 1 and Part 2. Uh, but, let's go on to individual teams. I'm going to start with Team Cap. So, on Team Cap, you have Captain America, Bucky, of course, um... Skull Johansson's playing, basically playing both sides. Um, I forgot the name, but um, um, isn't Carter's daughter? Sorry, I'm I'm not on cap side, so I don't know a lot of these people. Then you have yeah that person. If I'm getting all my teams right. Oh, then you have that when I was missing is um Ant Man slash Giant Man. Then you also have Hawkeye, depending how you want to look at it. Um, 
No, I really like the people, but they could have made Ant-Man more fun of a part. Spider-Man really took him over, uh, in my opinion. Like, Spider-Man is like, I wish they, like, they had Spider-Man versus uh, Ant-Man way longer. So that have been cool, like, seeing, like, two comedians just go at it. Uh, then, I like Captain America on this. Really cool. His fight scenes were amazing, perfect. I couldn't ask for any better Captain America. Bucky, though, I... He could have done a little better, you know. I wish he, I, his, I wish he had more fight scenes with Bucky, or, like, a fight scene with Captain America. Bucky, like, Captain America is, um... Alright, Bucky is brainwashed. Captain America has to be taken away. Alright, Bucky has to be taken away. Captain America fights that and fights Bucky because he's still brainwashed. And then there's also uh, um, uh, I want to get into Hawkeye. They could have lit up more Hawkeye. He's in retirement in the movie, and I wish they could have brought him in a little sooner in the movie, give him a little more backstory what he's been doing and all that. Because in Age of Ultron, if I'm... Yeah, Age of Ultron. If you find out that, oh my god, he has a wife and children and lives in a... Like a, like a little farm area. And then there's... Team... Um, Iron Man. It's like, I've got a Team Cap. I mean, there's... Like, not much else I can say. For that. Then there's Team Cap. On Team Iron Man. I love everyone on Team Iron Man. Love it. He has Scarlett Johansson. I'm sorry. Black Widow. Wow. Who used to say actors' names? Not to my movie friends too much. Um, Black Widow, Iron Man, Black Panther, Spider Man. Uh, also on. Sorry, I forgot to mention. Sorry about this. I forgot to mention they have Falcon on his side. Team Cap. They have. No, there's red ring in it. Wish I had it. I wish I had a little falcons, go red ring. Doesn't help out the community. Communicate, but I'm technology based now. So, um, now uh, Team Iron Man. Like I said, those people on his team. He has War Machine, Vision, Spider Man, uh, Black Panther, and Black Widow. Now I love Spider Man movie. Spider Man, they finally got my. I like Andrew Garfield. He played more, a little more depressing, though. Like, a hipster version of him, I want to say. Tobey Maguire. Sorry for saying that, right? I'm not using his name. He did sort of good. He kind of got the comedic value there. But he was most not good. Um, Tom Holland finally got him right. He's a joking. He has wittiness. He's, they finally written him in right. Um, but moving on to, I think... One of the coolest superheroes in there is Black Panther. And I love how, like, the impact of his story, you know, it's like 30 second long backstory just impacts you. Like, oh my god, his dad's dead. He's a king now. He's Black Panther. He's all these supernatural powers now. He can communicate with all the Black Panthers now. Uh, it's so cool to see that. And I just really love that about him. He's a richest superhero, so he can afford anything. I'm not even kidding. Like I look at statistics, he's just a richest superhero at thirty point. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's thirty point nine or thirty point seven trillion dollars. That's an insane amount of money. He's a king. He's a king of Nigeria. You know, he's supernatural powers and all this. Then this war machine, who's just always like, you know, I thought you were better than this cap. You know, well, guess what? Now you're a villain. Basically, and I like that. He like seems to never run out of ammo. There's also a scene where like, we all think, "Oh my God, he's dead," but then Tony Stark's like, "No, no, I read his vitals," and he's like, "I'm gonna kill you." And like Falcon walks over, "I'm so sorry." And goes, Psh. you know, and he forgets Vision was on the team and all that. And then there's Vision. I like that he's like, like you guys see more of like the pressing Vision. Not that long though. It's like I wish to under um the, about the Infinity Stone, which I'm pretty sure it reminds a time Infinity Stone. I don't I don't remember my Infinity Stones. Um, but he has the Infinity Stone right here. 
Um, which you probably can see the depth of vision in um, if you watch part one or part two. Because Thanos rips it out of his skull. Like, so this is mine. This is the thing that gave him life. Um, but yeah, he's like, I wish I understand this so I can control it more, which kind of shows, like, oh, he's afraid. You know, like, little bit. Like, I don't understand myself. How am I supposed to understand other things? How am I supposed to protect other things? You know, that's things like that. Then getting moving on to, I think, yeah, I covered everyone. Oh, Black Widow. I like Black Widow on this. She's like, I, mean, I like the scene where it's Iron Man and Bucky running back to, running to the plane to go to the big prison thing where um, the villain is. Pretty cool villain. Um, they could have had a lot more with him. But, uh, yeah, it was cool. Like, and Black Widow was like, um, when Black Panther's like, what the hell, dude? I was right there. I could have gotten them. I could have stopped them. I could have killed the guy that killed my uh, dad because he thinks that he's the one to set up the bomb and all that. So, I like that scene because he's like, I told you I'd f help you find them, not kill them. Or something like that. Or get them caught or whatever. Because she realizes that they're so friends. I, mean, I think my favorite line in the movie is, um, when, he's, when she's fighting Hawkeye, they're both on different sides, but she's fighting Hawkeye. And she's like, we're still friends, right? We're still friends, right? And, um, she said, and he says, depends how hard you punch and just continue to fight. He said, oh, these are both friends. And, uh, but they're still fighting on opposite sides. They have different beliefs, but they're still friends. I like that. Moving on to, like, the side characters, I want to say. There's good side characters in this. Like, good non-superhero characters. Like, Martin Freeman, the guy who had Bucky in a jail, had, um, the main villain in jail. Sorry, I know his name. I've read comic books with him. I was not clicking in my mind. Alright. Yeah, it's like, so please, please step out of the line. I like Martin Freeman in this. A lot of good side and non main characters kind of have little backstory to it, but not too much. Uh, if you think about it, it's a good movie overall. I liked it. I would give it a out of ten. I would give, probably give it like a uh, eight point nine because of all the action. I mean, compared to Batman vs Superman, I'm not trying to say anything, but it's better. Uh, way more action. Batman vs Superman. Hey, you know, we're going to plot this Batman vs Superman on its Donna Justice. Because it basically was, it's Donna Justice, nothing else. And, you know, they have a 20 minute fight scene at most, if, depending how you count it. And, um, Civil War is like, no, we're going to have multiple fight scenes. Like, all this killing and stuff, because you get to remember that kills people. I mean, you get shot, of, get shot of shot to shoot people. And he's like, you know, we have all this action and the explosions, but it's not going to be as bad as a Michael Bay movie. No disregard to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, amazing movie. So yeah, that's our first review, like an 8.9, maybe a 7.9, something around there, 7 to 8. I wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10. It's not, it was a good movie, a little more backstory, I wish, but not as much as Batman vs. Man. And I was down to justice, if... Batflick now, or Ben Affleck, his nickname, Batflick, no, okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, a little longer vlog, I just, you know, I have, like, my family's my editing room, it's my, where my computer is, my editing room, so, yeah, so I'm doing a lot of vlogs right now, reviews, updates, and all that, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's been my official review for Captain America Civil War. And I'm out. If you're a nerd, signing off.